Go Nichiwa, Mina this is T-Secure, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on a Sega Saturn game. And that is Emmet Volume 3, Watashi ni Sayonara. Oh. This is the third and final visual novel of the series. And since I haven't actually finished the other two games, there will be some things that will happen in here that will be quite a surprise and leave me with more questions of what happened in the first one. I've been enjoying seeing what they've been able to do with the game, and so I can't wait. As always, 10 minutes to play the game, first I'm playing the game of version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer's been started, and let's begin. I am very curious to see what the story will start now. And the only thing I know is that there's a parallel universe that is connected. Hmm, the mother. Okay. The the mother is now thinking. Okay, she's trying to figure out how to explain the situation at the moment. Okay, so I guess the clone is still inside of this world. The real world. Okay. Interesting. Her mother is seeing changes that are very minute, but things are not adding up. So she's starting to see that her daughter is not her daughter, but she can't explain why her daughter's not her daughter. Ooh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> she just got handled. She's like, nope, must be something. Oh, I shouldn't worry about it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, apparently everybody started to notice, and he just kind of talked to the, the mother to see if something's wrong. And everybody's starting to realize, ooh, this is actually getting good. So now I guess the uh, the girl from the other universe is trying to pose as her, but people are starting to notice things that are abnormal. Things that are different that she normally doesn't do. Hmm. Honestly, if, I, if, I, if this was uh, an anime, I think this would be amazing to start it out at this point and then go backwards to show what happened up to this point. It might actually work quite nicely to, uh, about that. So now I'm just like really curious. And where she is now, the, the true Yuri, um, she's with 
this girl's son, because apparently in the other universe, men grow younger as they get older. I'm not quite understanding it myself since it's uh, something that's probably explained in the first game. Okay, let's go on. Alright, so what's going to happen? Okay, so here is the fake. Now he knows it's not her. She's she's commenting on the party. Okay. But he's playing along. Hmm. Okay. Now they're both worried. Okay, so now the mother's worried because something's up. Okay. Okay. And oh, he asked about the book that she bought. And now, now she's been caught in the lie. Oh. So, now it seems that he's caught her in a lie, and she knows it, probably. Let's see if uh, she actually knows that he knows something's not right. Hmm. Okay, so far as... Uh He knows it's not her. And now the mother is completely worried. Oh, this is getting good. This is this is some exactly the type of thing I'll actually look for to read. Wow. All right, moving on to the next chapter. Let's see um, what else will be happening. I'm really liking um, how the animation is going. And I'm liking how the story's really starting to go out. So it looks like probably in part two we actually see everything from the other um, side. While here we're going to find out if they can send her back and get the other Yuri. Hmm. Okay. Now they're talking about their lookalikes. And he knows it's the lookalike. And she, the mother's trying to figure out where her daughter is. Now she wants to know what she... They both will want to go and now talk to this girl and find out who she is and where Yuri is. Now they're going to go and confront her. Now what's going to happen? They're going to go and confront her. And she ran away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, that's not cool at all.
Oh, wow. Wow. And she's been discovered. She's confessing. Hmm. Oh, they came in before she could finish the letter. Wow, that's not even cool. <laughs> and there goes my timer. Okay. In all honesty, this is the t exactly the type of uh, visual novel I go for. You have a great mystery going on, and I'm um, just trying out all three of the games. Really leaves it open to making me wonder what is going to happen, what is going to go on, and what has happened to Yuri. Since she is stuck in the other world, and apparently it is forbidden to go over to the other world since they know about it without permission. So she's been arrested. So that's where we left off in the other game, and she's having to pretend to be the mother of the boy. So. Wow. And then, you know, this happens, and it's just like, really? This is becoming a very awesome story, and I'm very excited. I am really happy that there are stories like this out there, and that we have this type of media to enjoy them with. And I'm really excited to see that the Sega Saturn version, and I really hope also that, that the 3DO and PlayStation version also have this feature of having the English and Japanese uh dubbing on there because that would be amazing even if it's just the um english subtitles i'd be excited because this is definitely one of the uh, visual novels i'm going to pick up just for i can enjoy on the playstation one and have it part of my collection because this has been <laughs> really good i'm excited with the graphics i mean it just looks nice and feels right and I like that, and it is because of it being on the FMRD. This is uh, the typical graphics that they would do uh, on most of the, the uh, visual novels that they were doing, as far as I've seen. And I'm happy that it translated so well over to the other systems, or uh, to the Super Nintendo, and then, of course, uh, what we have here. And I'm really happy the story works is working really good, and is really draw me in. The controls are super simple and it has all this nice things that we get to do so that's really good and yeah this has been a lot of fun seeing and enjoying this uh, visual novel a series. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know <laughs> you didn't get to hear a whole lot, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Sorry about that. But definitely a series I'd recommend to pick up uh, since it is available for multiple different systems because this is just getting really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara. <laughs>